Hello, my name is Seket, and we are playing FTB Revelation. And uh, last time we did a whole bunch of stuff with uh, with the Rustic mod. Um, I finished up the two little buildings out there, although uh, we still got more stuff to do. This is going to take another building. I want to get into the alchemy system. And there, there's there's two kinds of structures. You've got your your condenser and retort structure. And you've got your advanced condenser and retort structure. And I can't think of any reason not to jump right into the advanced. Um, so here we go. What we're going to need, we're going to need three retorts and one condenser. So we're going to need some nether bricks, which uh, shouldn't be a big deal to, uh, to cook up. And as for the retorts, okay, yeah, just, uh, it looks like the the limiting factor is having been to the nether. Like, these are just regular bricks. We've frankly got easier access to nether bricks than we do, uh, than we do to clay. We're just going to need a couple of buckets. And have I scanned an iron block before? I have not. And that's a lot of metallum. So we'll go ahead and make three of these. Awesome. And then the condenser. We just need one of. That should be a lot of metallum. <laughs> yes, it is. I don't know how much room we're going to need here. So we're going to build the inside of the building first. Um, oh, and by the way, if you want apples, these rustic trees are definitely the way to go. Like, they just, every leaf block grows an apple instead of just a few air blocks underneath leaf blocks. So these are, those are fantastic. Um, now let's take a look here. This is going to take up some room. Okay, so we've got to place these so that the pipes go in, just like so. So it looks like you place them facing the condenser. That looks nice. Okay, we are going to need some fuel. We're going to need some glass bottles. Okay. Okay. Easy enough so far, right? Right. Now, what you do is you, you make elixirs in this. Um, which, okay, all this stuff. Chili peppers. Crop steaks. Okay, it's just an entry for the plant. So maybe what we should do is we should look at, uh, at uh, what is it, J-I, any I? I'm not sure. <laughs> Whichever one it is. And let's see what's on the menu here. OK, we got all the juice bottles. We got that all set, except for the ale wart, which we, we still need to make. Um, we got, OK, elixir of instant health. That sounds good. OK. I see. So we're going to need a uh, chamomile, which is something we find in the world, um, and raw beef. Now, if we look in here, um, not there, but maybe agriculture, herbs, it'll tell you where to find. Like chamomile, we can find it in plains, forest, and swamp, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, no, that's cohosh. That's something different. We will need cohosh, I'm sure. There's a bunch of these herbs. Um, I don't know that they're really renewable. Um, like, can we get seeds? Not really. Can we plant them? Oh, yes, we can. Okay, so they are renewable. That's good to know. Aha, uh -huh. here we go. So if we're gonna wanna, wanna add these to our, our little rustic garden. I don't think you can plant them on farmland. 
think that's why I thought they couldn't be planted. I was wondering how we were going to deal with, uh, you know, maybe make it some window boxes or something in this early version, but we have a really inexpensive framed block from Block Craftery. That uh, should help us out. Um, it's just sticks. So that's what we're going to need another crafter. And we'll get into how those trapdoors work uh, when we've got uh, some grass up here. But for the time being, to make sure we don't run out, we're going to throw uh, one each of those in there so that they grow. You get more than one when you harvest, so it's really not that different than crops. So let's see. We've got, uh, well, this goes over here. Right? We might need water. So what we're gonna do is throw uh, an aqueous accumulator down here. And put a pipe down, or fluid duct, I should say. Put a tank down, and let's see how this goes. Okay! So do they all fill up? Okay, so we can see the, the tank gooey here, and we can scoop out from there. Um, okay, it looks like it holds eight by default, and takes not very much. So we won't have to fill this thing all the time. One more? Yeah. One elixir of instant health. Now, is that it? Do we do anything to it? I know we can't make it into arrows or lingering potions. But I thought... Okay, instant health 2 is the same recipe, but it requires this... Uh, you, can, you, you don't have this slot on the basic uh, alchemy setup. But we'll need it for uh, for the second level potions. Okay, so where are we going to find it? Let's see. Got herbs, marshmallows, what we're looking for. Jungle in the swamp. I'm, we're almost to the swamp. But I'm just picking up whatever there is from Rustic. I'm pretty much just looking for unfamiliar plants, you know? Like, if I don't recognize a plant, it might be from Rustic. And probably worth picking up. It looks like we're going to be using all of them. Hopefully we'll have better luck here in the tropics. We need to find uh, blood orchids anyway. Also, there's a kind of... There's a kind of mushroom we need that only spawns in caves in jungle biomes. And there, there ain't a vanilla jungle biome we can't find it for love or money. Um, so hopefully... Well, there's moon caps. Um, we were looking for that. I don't know if those are the mushrooms I was looking for specifically. Let's find out. Yeah, that's what we were looking for. Now, if we can only find Marshmallow and Blood Orchid. Uh, here are the Blood Orchids. Still no luck on the Marshmallow root. Gotta be here somewhere, right? Sure enough. Little pink guys. That's nice. I'm also picking up all of these wild berry bushes that I see. You just don't get it. You don't get it fast enough just picking them. Um, even with like a full couple of rows that we had. We will have to automate that sooner or later. Hello, Britons. Another one of those gateways. We're in very different shape than we were the first time we saw one of these. Much stronger shape. Let's see if we can take these guys out. Now this guy I'm worried about. This guy will set us on fire. Ducking. Ow. Crying out loud. I'm not... 
shooting very well. They hit pretty hard, don't they? Oh, you know what we have? Of instant health. Not that great. I sure would like to hit some of these guys. Got one of them. Let's see if we can get this guy. <laughs> Alright, we're down to uh, five. Or three magi boys. We're just gonna head on down. Oh boy, they keep coming, don't they? Heal up here. Oh, and there's an eclipse, of course. <laughs> all kinds of mobs. There, we hit one. Oh, they're hitting us hard. Let's get this. Is this the last one? I hope. Oh, uh, yeah, this is the last one, huh? There's something over there. Let's see. What if anything these guys dropped? There's plenty of experience. Anything else around? All my arrows? <laughs> that looked like something. That might have been void metal. Let's just take a... Oh, we were over here fighting too, I think. Yeah. Okay, okay. There's some more. That might just be gold. It is just gold. Okay, we got gold and sulfur. <laughs> and what's this? This book contains nothing but crazed ravings. We might need more warp to understand it. Anyway, we're out here looking for aloe vera. <laughs> And just about everything's gone, uh, gone in unexpected ways. Now, what's this? That's aloe vera. Awesome. The question I have, do we need sand to plant this stuff, or can we just... Okay, we can plant it in dirt. Cool. This guy just kind of hangs out. <laughs> I ain't complaining. He just, he's just hanging out over here chilling. He's been over here for ages. Now, once we make these potions, we are going to want a uh, place to put them. So we're going to, just with crafting a slab with itself, you can get these spice racks from Cooking for Blockheads. And uh, what they really are, are, uh, you know, they'll, they'll go into the, the multi-block kitchen, and we'll be, we'll be looking at that later. But what these things really are, are, uh, are item shelves. Um, doesn't have to be food that you put on them. And I think they look fantastic. Um, we'll probably be putting booze and potions and all kinds of things there. But let's uh, let's go back and try to make one of our level two elixirs. Okay, that's what we needed: the marshmallow, chamomile, and raw beef. Got the beef? Yeah, th these will just go in anywhere. Um, I'm not sure how we'd go about automating this if we wanted to level, you know. I don't know. Uh, maybe with a lot of them, we could do it. <laughs> uh, excuse me. All right. 
So we'll put the marshmallow in, we'll put the chamomile in, and we'll do its thing right up to here. And then, okay, yeah, it doesn't pause to fill this bar. It's just all the same progress bar. And we got a level two. Yeah, I didn't think so. So that's nice. And they like, you know, it did like displays the thing. You can put a whole stack in there. These are uh, really nice for displaying items. Now here's a nice one. Regen two for 22 seconds. Doesn't even take a gas tier. We just need cohosh, honeycomb, and another marshmallow root. Oh, look at that thing go. <laughs> this, is, this is a cool mod. Animations are great, blocks are great, mechanics are great. Now, these do stack, um, unlike vanilla potions. I don't know how many they stack, but we'll make another one of those just to demonstrate. There we go. It can obviously brew more than one at once. Stacked potions of regen. Isn't that nice? Now, this next one, I'm not going to lie. I don't know why we want this. Um, it's an elixir of wither, and we're going to make the second level one. We're probably not going to taste it. Oh, okay, so if you put this in later, it'll reset. Interesting. You can grow these death stalk mushrooms on dirt. Uh, you got to get them from the nether, but it looks like you can grow all of the, uh, the herbs just on, on dirt or grass, and that's quite lovely. Yeah, wither two. I wonder... It's got to be important for something. Like, you can't make these into arrows. You can't make them into splash potions. I guess if we ever need to be withered, we'll be, we'll be all set. Now, there is a night vision. Um, there is an advanced version, but it looks... Oh, it's eight minutes. That's I didn't see the difference between the three and the eight. Eight minutes of night vision is it's no joke. I need these wind thistles to make the speed potions. Um, there's uh, there's speed two, speed one, and also the extended speed one. I honestly forget which one we're making here. <laughs> we might be able to fit another bucket of water in here when this thing's done. Now, if you right if you right click, sneak right click with an empty hand, I think it clears all of these inventories, including the tanks. So. Uh, so watch out for that. Oh, you can also get the extended uh, protection from fire with some aloe vera, brick, and a coal horsetail. And I gotta say, like there, there are other mods that adds potion mechanics and also vanilla, but this is this is all quite early game. You don't even need blaze powder, like. You need a couple of nether resources to build the tier 2 condenser and stuff. Um, but, you know, we're talking like nether bricks and then you need soul sand and those death cap mushrooms so far. This is, uh, this is all very early game. You can get this stuff. It's really cool. Now, of course, we're very interested in health boost. We've got a horsetail version. That'll give it to us for 8 minutes. And we've got a marshmallow root version. So I, there's your, I think that's how the horsetail and the marshmallow works in this. Um, seems that way anyway. It's, you know, once you, once you get the idea, it's, it's all very comprehensible. Okay, yeah, four max health. Pretty good. Now there's one herb that we didn't find. That's the core root. I went caving for about an hour, real low down. That's where you're supposed to be able to find it, but uh, I did not find any. So we're going to start uh, working on finishing up this build here. Now, we made these frame trap doors, <laughs> and it looks like they will just place on top of each other. Um, and what, what you do with these is uh, you right click with the block that you want them to take the texture of. And that's really going to help us out. 
because this version of the game is before there was a trap door for every type of vanilla wood. And I was starting to finish the build here, and look at that. It's the, the good old, old school stairs lighting glitch. Can't seem to get rid of it. I have been keeping up with my perks. Uh, we did get the uh, consistent level of fortune. We also got this middle one, which allows us to unlock other routes. Uh, for instance, these. And I think what we want is uh, the elemental resistances, like fighting those those jerks from Thomcraft. Um, that was a lot of fire. And if we can get a little bit more armor, a little bit more resistance, I think that'll help us out an awful lot. And we've had extra extra steak, what, what we now know is an extra steak up here for ages. I think we can definitively say the, uh, the max height for this is two and the max for the tomatoes is three. And these doors look incredible. Now there are two potions. I, I don't know what I don't know what this blazing trail does. Um, so maybe I'll look into that. But this the elixir of feather is slow fall. But this iron skin, like uh, four armor toughness and six armor for 90 seconds, that's serious. We want that. Anyway, I think that's going to about do it for this episode. We had checked out a lot of stuff that's really going to help us out. And uh, we'll be back next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.